while I was installing a wing, the goddamn wing fell off. What's going on guys? Today is a brand new video. Now today we are doing special that I've been waiting for a while. We are installing a wing today on the Supra. And I'm super excited because the car already looks aggressive with everything that I have on the car. However, it's just missing that oomph in the back, you know what I'm saying? When I look in the back of the car, it's just like, there's not really no oomph. Before, I used to run a carbon fiber duckbill. Um, it did stick out just a little bit, but like, it just wasn't aggressive enough, and I wanted something bigger for sure. Now, I got too excited, and I actually unwrapped it a little bit. I got this wing from Extreme Online Store. And you guys are probably wondering, oh, are you sponsored by him? Ooh. Unfortunately, no. This is basically a Street Hunter rep wing. I know, I know, now, now y'all guys saying, oh, it's not a real Street Hunter wing, it's a fake wing. Well, let me tell you why. But let me show you the wing first. So this is the wing right here, voila, in all its glory. I don't know, I can't justify the price of buying a wing for $1,500, $1,200. Like, that's just insane, just for a wing. Just for a wing. Like, come on, like, that's insane. I, I, I personally find that insane. They already come pre-painted and everything. However, it's not paint matched. Uh, a lot of you probably kind of think it's probably paint matched. It's not paint matched. Um, if I put it closely enough, there is just a slight difference. You can't tell on camera, but there is a slight difference in coloring. But I will eventually, I want to get these side winglets paint matched, take it to a shop. But for now, because it's already black, it will blend in really well. I actually bought this for $400, believe it or not, compared to a $1,500 now look at that and this is just me holding it I haven't screwed it in or anything but look at the fitment on that it is close tight same thing on the top close tight on the side same thing on the other side it's close tight on the side here on the back and I can't really show too much because I am holding this wing with one hand I don't want to drop this thing the street hunter wing has a carbon board around it this one is just um abs same thing on the side wing list they're just abs but i don't really care too much about that it doesn't have to be all carbon and plus we get a good looking wing that fits now the first thing i'm going to do is add some masking tape to the sides of this i already started a little bit but i'm just going to add stripping all the way probably till here so from here to here because i need to plan out where i'm going to drill the holes in order to do that i need to mask this thing out first so i could draw like with a pencil or a marker or something so that way i could perfectly line it up and just drill it one time in just a little bit this line right here and then it started fading away because the way how the wing is made I just couldn't fit my pen under there all right guys so I finally placed the wing on the car now I probably should have put more grease on this side but you can see where kind of estimate the holes are gonna be at um, this side is a little bit better um, you can actually see see where the grease left off from the winglets you can see where I so I'm just gonna give my best guess and just try to drill in the middle of this grease spots so I drilled one hole already and it looks like we're just gonna keep repeating that for the next uh, five other holes okay we just put three up the holes here and uh, I ain't gonna lie, it kind of gave me anxiety. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but we gotta just do it on one more side. Um, if you guys haven't already, I am also filming a TikTok. We're almost done. Um, basically, I just need to drill out those holes and then just pull the wing up. Okay, so there is one issue that I'm running into uh, installing this wing. So basically, I need to make the holes a little bit bigger um, because the screw wouldn't actually fit. So I actually drilled the holes just a slightly bigger on one of them just to test them out. And it worked and you could see the hole through the trunk, through the wing, so you got that way you could bolt it up. But the problem was the ones that uh, 
the bolts that are provided they're just super short so they're not even long enough they just need to be a tad bit longer in order to reach through the trunk and the wing I only went this morning just to get some uh, bolts got some washers so that way it can hold it in place all right guys so I finally have the wing on and everything however there's one problem um, I forgot to put the weather stripping on here so I think we're just gonna have to take it off and redo it all right so now I just took one of the pieces off and I placed it on the winglet bag the winglet goes honestly like doing this by myself and trying to line it up people make it make it so easy online to straighten it and Honestly, I think it's just because I'm doing it by myself. Uh, I forgot to tighten the other side and I this whole wing literally fell off while I was uninstalling the wing line. While I was installing the wing, the goddamn wing fell off! All right, so I finally got the wing on and now, now I don't know if you can notice on camera, but it is a lot more even on the both sides of the winglet because before, this side was sitting lower and then the right side was actually sitting higher. Other than that, the wing looks super good and now it's even and everything. Now all I need to do is put the end caps on and then basically this wing is ready to go. But as you can see, it's super dirty from all my fingerprints and trying to keep readjusting it, taking it off, putting it back on. So that's all we need left. End caps are very simple. Um, they come with two screws and all you do it's literally place it over a cover like this, go like that, and then you screw it in and boom, it's done. So my phone died actually, so I'm filming on my phone right now, but check that out. Look at the wing and look how it turned out. It looks super good now. And like I said, it fitted really well for just being $400. Now I, I eventually, in the future, if you look closely, you can see that the paint is slightly off. The black on the actual car is a little bit lighter than this and it obviously has more metallic. Um, but like I said, that will get painted in the future. But as of right now, that's how it sits and that's how it looks like. Look at the meat on that thing. Now it just looks, I feel like this is what was missing on the car. And now we finally have a full on car. It's fully aggressive now from the back, from the rear garnish to the rear spat, to the spoiler, the lowered, the carbon side skirts, the carbon front lip. And it just looks so well. And I feel like everything has gone to what together so well and now we just need new wheels and i am working on trying to find a sponsor for that so just keep that on hold guys i forgot that we also have the carbon fiber mirror caps and the red interior that's really fine hard to find in the super nowadays usually they're just black or alcantara or something like that but god damn look at that wing i usually don't like wings i usually like duck bills and when it is a wing it has to be like an oem plus look um, but I definitely think this should have came from factory and it looked so good. But yeah, none of me ranting on about how good it looks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time in the next one.